I'm not leaving the Saudi woman apparently here. escaped her family during a vacation in Kuwait by boarding a plane for Thailand with the intention of reaching Australia. She says when she arrived in Bangkok, her travel documents were taken away from her. The Thai authorities detained her with the intention of returning her to Kuwait. She barricaded herself in her hotel room from which she sent desperate calls for help. My name is Rahaf uh, and I'm still in the room. Uh, I have no choice. Uh, they said I have to go tomorrow and uh, no one can help me right now. A senator from Australia is calling for urgent action to get the young woman to Australia. This is an opportunity for us to show genuine compassion uh, and to stand by our principles as a free, fair and decent uh, society. One which uh, upholds democracy and individual freedoms. Rights activists say for women in Saudi Arabia, fleeing the family can be a matter of life and death. If she is sent back to Saudi Arabia, uh, to her family, uh, they will have essential impunity to abuse her, to inflict uh, honor-related violence against her. And Saudi Arabia has a very poor track record in investigating and prosecuting these kind of cases. The United Nations Refugee Agency is being urged to help the runaway. Today, UNHCR told me they will take five days to consider her asylum application and five days to make travel arrangements to a third country. Saudi women are assigned a male relative as a guardian even when they're adults and they cannot make their own decisions. If they rebel, they can be severely punished or even killed without real access to legal protection. She is a, is a symbol of resistance that uh, as a young woman, uh, she no longer wants to be dictated and controlled by uh, the male hierarchy. Uh, the patriarchy of the society, whether it be uh, in the religion or the politics or in the society. In a similar case in 2017, another young Saudi woman was intercepted in the Philippines while trying to flee to Australia. She was returned to her family in Saudi Arabia and her fate since then remains unknown. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.